All right, welcome back to another Spencer TV episode here, boys. We are starting a new series. This is episode one of pretty much, I'm going to call it like the Sawmill series, where this is going to be Spectre TV Sawmill. And ladies and gentlemen, this Sawmill is is great. A super great mod. I actually don't know the creator. Wait, I think I do know the creator. It says that it's called the Terror Tax Sawmill by Siba J from LS15 Converted. Siba J make this to work with GE and made a version called Placeable Animation. Works only a few de details, but it's pretty much perfect. That's what it says in the description. I will try and link up this mod if you guys want to use it for PC and stuff. I don't know how new it is. I just saw it online here. And, uh, and yeah, so credit goes to the author Siba J, Giant Siba J, uh the snake and the others for objects okay so with that being said i just want a quick quick intro like little run through so here's how it's going to start we're going to come around we got all of our trucks we have a banshee log loader we have a bunch going on and this is where we're going to load them up so wood goes in here we'll probably throw like huge logs in here and we'll load these up i have auto loaders over there and then it goes through is there a way i can get in okay we'll run through here oh excuse me sir all right, we got all these workers working. So they come in here, and I believe they go on this, and then down. I don't know if there's, like, a turn on button. Ooh, start, stop. I don't know. We'll see. And then they must come through here, get chopped up. I believe I can make them into wood chips. Not sure. They keep coming through here. Okay. Here's board one. So they come out looking like boards, like this. And I think I am pick them up with forks and take them somewhere and sell them for really good money. We will see, though. We will see. And then here's board two. Oh, there, where's the wood chip spot? So, guys, a lot to do with the sawmill. And I actually... I haven't even ran anything through it. Here's some wood chips. And I believe there's board three. All right, here's pallets. Maybe it makes pallets. So, super cool stuff. We will pretty much try and figure this out here today. Oh, my goodness. These are so loud. Oh, my goodness. Here, let's turn down that vehicle volume. Still pretty loud. There we go. Okay, that should be a little better. So, what I want to do is we got to get some equipment up there. I'm going to actually, I'm going to probably take one or two. Honestly, I probably only need one. We are going by ourselves. So, this is kind of episode one, testing the water. I do want to get, like, Numata on here, Garrett, and everybody working together. And maybe even do, like, a stream where we're all playing on this and running through the sawmill. But, guys, let me know what you think of the sawmill. There's our Banshee right there, too. And we are on the Black Mountain, Montana map. So we're going to be logging in the mountains. Kind of cool stuff. There is actually a sawmill right here. But ours is way cooler. I wish we could take this out and replace it with ours. But, oh well. I want to see. I just want to get a few logs through it at first. And kind of see how everything's going to play out. So let's go up to our first spot. Our first kind of logging site. I don't want to go too far. There's no good trees around here. And it's so elevated. We couldn't get... Scorpion King would have a real tough time. I think that's what we're going to be running. Scorpion King, just for this episode, it's probably what I'm the most comfortable with. And then, yes, we're running the Kenworth. I believe it's... Uh, what model is it? This is our logging model. Super long. It can handle like... Uh, it really goes up these mountains real nice, which is super good. We needed something like that big time. Okay, where... Where's a decent logging spot? Everything is so spread out around here, it's kind of hard to... Uh, Honestly, if I'll just probably hang out. Oh, there's no good spot around here. I don't want to drive too far, but I think we might have to. There's one way up here. I could just go. All right, which way? Right or left? The path is diverging. Okay, we'll probably hang a right. And then we'll go to our first logging spot, I guess. It'll make it pretty cool. And we'll do some, uh, some trucking in the mountains. Which, which is awesome, guys. Again, if you guys want to see more videos of this in us continuing the series. Oh, my goodness. We got some air. Make sure to smash like button. I really appreciate it. Go in the comments. Let me know if, what you guys want to see next. If you have any ideas for the sawmill. We're pretty much going to be... This video is testing it out and really exploring and seeing if we can make some money. In the next video, I'll drop our money back to down to, like, zero or something. And, uh, and see how that works and see how much we can make. So, super cool. This sawmill is going to be awesome. I really love logging in this game. And Oh, there we go. Turned it off. And this sawmill is going to be great. So let's let's grab Scorpion King. All right, so we got the Scorpion King here. We're in our, our little, our first time ever logging in our little 
logging site so far everything's going just fine i want to make sure our auto trailer is is ready to pick up and i do have okay it won't drop if you have the press the start on then if you hop out of the scorpion king or anything it won't drop it but if you jump out then the vehicle will obviously turn off and then that's when you'll lose your tree it'll drop down and that is so annoying i hate when it happens okay so let's switch it to right side let's go start auto load b all right so that looks good right there and then i'll just leave it here and make sure the scorpion king positions it because i can keep moving the scrum king all i want it's been a while it's been a few uh, it's been like a week or two since i've been in a scorpion king seems like we should be able to do just fine team i feel like all the other ones are this is one of the things where mods for logging like the scrum king is pretty hard to beat in terms of efficiency oh let's not do that oh no i cut it at eight or at one one meter I need eight meters at least. There we go. All right, we're gonna have a, Okay, I'm gonna make sure to grab that because that kind of, I'm not an OCD kind of person, but that does kind of tick me off and I don't like to see that there. Okay, these trees aren't the biggest on the Black Mountain. I'm sure there's different spots. I noticed that there's a lot of different trees. It's not, you know, like some logging maps have specifically like these trees only, but I noticed on this one that we should be able to get quite a few like cool kind of different trees which is always super cool and there we go crank this around oh back up we're caught we're caught we're caught we're caught <sighs> come on all right let's figure this out i okay what what did i do different that i didn't do the first that i yeah okay uh I gotta keep this parallel. I feel like this tree's a little bigger and I'm having a tougher time because it came on the other side. Not too far. All right, I should be good. I, I just wanna get in a good position where I know it's gonna pick it up. There, awesome. Oh yes, that was way bigger. There we go, we got two good sizes and then the third one was a little small. No big deal though, no big deal at all. Oh, this tree's big. I feel like this tree is about the same size that we just got done. So I want to fly through, or I want to zip through here, see how many logs we can get. Oh. And then eventually, I want to get to a system where we have like eight, you know, seven, eight people on here, and we are in full production mode. If this sawmill works, again, I haven't even used it. So on camera, this is going to be, I don't know. This is going to be, it's either, it's going to work which i'm hoping it will and i have all these ideas for it which would be so awesome because this sawmill can open we can make a lot of videos with it and it hopefully you guys enjoy it as well okay this dead tree let's make sure we get this out of the way i did not bring a sump grinder with me i'll make sure to do that next time and there we go she's cut let's lift her up throw it on the side as well okay yeah totally i feel like this way if I come on the side like this and then you want to go parallel to the trailer and then bring your tree around and it's gonna hit the cab not not I guess it'll hit like your tires and stuff and then you can start to line it up oh dang it still picked it up and it was that far away then you can move the arm if you do want to get it closer there we go about like three more trees i feel like and we will be more than good uh where's some big ones this one's not bad stay away from the little ones we gotta let them grow to be bigger there we are oh yeah if we come right here that is quick honestly i really don't know i've done so much logging on this game i don't know a mod that is better than the scorpion king like i was saying earlier every other mod like farming equipment there's better the in-game tractors and trailers or just in-game equipment seems to be always worse than mods but for logging i can't find a mod that can beat the scorpion king but the logging trailers that's a different story an auto loader is 100 percent better than anything you can get in game without an auto loader i don't know what i would do they just it, it takes so much time to line up and then also you can you can kind of screw up the log 
It's like a 50-50 chance if you get a good good drop. There we go. I think we'll do this one. I feel like we have already too much for the sawmill, especially because I don't even know how it works properly yet. And I was trying to look up videos and I don't think anybody's used it yet, so we will uh we'll be trial one. Let's get some straps down. L, there we go. There we go. Nice load. Awesome. The Kenworth W900 is our logging truck, and we are gonna let's test the roads. This is a really, really good truck, and it seems to be great for what we're using it for. Hopefully, it doesn't tip. It looks like we got a little sideways there, but should be good. Super cool. There we go, boys. Awesome, awesome. Oh, we gotta go up this. I remember. Oh, we just got some air. If I did that in real life, I feel like the truck would just. I feel like the bumper would be gone, the, the suspension would be gone, but we've like, I wonder how many tons, tons this would be. It would have to be like, you know, like 50 tons or something. Perfect. Uh, where's the best way down? Gotta get used to this, All right? The Martin Gulch, that's what it's called, where I feel like, yeah, we're like in a, like a river was going down this at one point. It, it's kind of like a little valley. All right, so there's the sawmill that is in the game, and then we just keep going down. I actually just plowed a field one, which was a field of wheat, so that now we could place something down, and it, and it looks really good. So we will see how this works. We have workers down there. You guys saw, like, the, the animated worker, like, avatars, which is kind of cool. All right, we're moving and grooving. We're back on some concrete. We should be able to fly pretty quick. See, I feel like... Oh, that looks so cool. I love how we have our tippers on our Kenworths down there as well. And I could get the fall me mod. And I could get like three running at once. But I, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. All right. So let's pull around. I believe that's where you unload wood chips or you get wood chips. It kind of looks like where you unload them. So I feel like we only make pallets. And this is where I unload wood for sure. Now, do I unload it? I got to be... It's got to unload in the tape. I feel like. Honestly, what I kind I kind of want to do something real quick. I want to I have a quick little idea. Let's press L. We're going to detach the straps and then I'm going to grab my chainsaw, jump up here and make a little little cut. Just a small one. I can find they're all on top of each other. All right, I think I'm chopping the top one. Did I do it? Yes. All right, so we got a little piece of wood. Let's see what happens when we throw this in. I don't want to waste all of that wood. That's like a hundred thousand, hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Oh, so it just went in there. I guess we have seventy-four of something. So, so, so perfect. There we go. Let's back up here and then just go as parallel as I can get. I guess I don't really know how close it unloads. I don't think it's that close. Kind of get halfway up on the concrete. That's what I'm thinking. And there we go, boys. Take the straps off. We'll go, okay, so right side. I would hate for it to be on the left side. And start unload. There they go. No way. Okay, so I think they're full. Okay, so it looks like it's full. All right, let's get in there. I'm so excited to see this. Are there logs running through? Or do I need to turn it on? How does this work? Maybe I need the animated trigger mod to have these triggers. Um, There's no, like, on-off button that I see. Okay, let's walk. Okay. So logs we have, oh, we're at 97%. Okay. But here's fuel. Oh, we don't have any fuel. Okay, so we need fuel to run it. Makes sense, totally makes sense. Okay. So where do I put that fuel? Or we don't. I don't hear anything running. I see stop and start buttons. I see control panels. Um, see, start, stop right there. I think we need fuel to run this. Like, obviously, you need fuel in real life to run it. 
so you would need fuel in here but sometimes obviously it's a video game sometimes you do sometimes you don't but it's it kind of feels like we do all right there's our is that our boss is that our boss right there okay i think we might where would we put the fuel that's the real question where do we drop the fuel off at we can go get a fuel truck so we're totally full on logs there hmm Okay, what I'm thinking is we probably have to get the animated trigger in here. That's probably the best bet. Okay, quickly, let's save the game. Let's go buy some fuel. No. Okay, we'll get the trigger in here, and we should be able to... Yeah. Okay, all I need is fuel and the trigger. I think the trigger's going to let me turn those switches and stuff, so we'll see and find... Oh, what's this? Oh, that's just like fire extinguishers, pallets. All right, we'll, we'll figure this out. All right, so we just added the animated trigger. And in the in the description of the mod, it said it worked for, for animated trigger. And there was another like GE trigger. I don't have the GE trigger, but I do have the animated trigger. And I want to start running around and seeing if this is going to work. Because I really want to figure this out. We do have all the logs here. It would be super nice to get this running. I mean just the mod itself like looking at it i'm so excited to use it and let's see if this works i'm running around to everything there is no all right so obviously the wood loads in here there's a switch there's literally a switch right right here and i i do have the animated trigger mod on so i i got it into the game and it should be running right now but for some reason it doesn't turn on so i'm gonna go the last thing, you think it would give me the option to turn it on. Well, I'm going to go get a fuel a fuel tank, and we will be throwing that up on there. And All right, so we just purchased the Joskin <coughs> liquid transfer tank. Ooh, what should we... We'll go get... We'll just use the standard pickup. Perfect. Don't really matter. We didn't... We don't even actually have a truck around here. Okay. So, sounds good. We should... Uh, the gas station's right there. So, that'll work out just fine. And then we're gonna go... I... I didn't see a spot where... Where you fuel the sawmill up. I'm not really sure. The fuel's at zero. So, I feel like all you need is fuel and then obviously wood. And we should be ready to rock and roll. And when I was looking around, I did find another sawmill that looked a little better and i do want to explore that because if i can get it oh wait we gotta be can i not refill okay just wait it won't let us refill on this see it's going to the truck here let's detach maybe come around here Okay, why won't it let me refill? Okay, obviously... I don't want to go... Huh, okay, so I'm trying to refill the trailer right now. Usually I get... I've done this so many times before. Am I doing something wrong? I'm selected. First, you need to refill the tool, it says. Alright. Uh... No, I just keep pressing it. It's acting like it's full. That's the problem. It won't take in any gas. Is there no... Okay, there's really no point in going to another gas station because probably won't work. Uh, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. So, yeah, I just got in animals. I'm, I'm pretty sure that takes... That can haul gasoline. It just takes... Transports liquids. And gas is a liquid. But anyway... We're having troubles. I don't think the gas would even matter. I just kind of wanted to do it just in case it did. The ga we don't even really need the fuel for me to, to activate the trigger. So there's something wrong. We must not have the right animated trigger. Or it doesn't work. Not really sure. They said there is some flaws on this. But uh, yeah, that would be it for today's video. We do... I'm so bummed out that we weren't able to actually make anything or at least get the logs in here which is kind of like super annoying i don't even know where i would have put the gas anyway because there's no like there's no like tank maybe i would back it in somewhere around here i doubt it would but anyway guys 
Thank you so much for watching. Sorry we weren't, we weren't able to get this. I think we're going to get a new sawmill next time. But peace out, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.